Hey guys, it's Elijah. Hope everybody's doing well today. Having a blessed Sunday. I'm at um, this old courthouse and you probably might have heard of it. It's called Dahlonega, Georgia. <laughs> oh, and I love coming here, especially for the gold rush. And I, uh, you know, I just want to make a quick reflection this time. And, uh, um, you know, I want to talk about like patience and how the Lord taught us to be patient. And so, but before I do, you know, first of all, I just want to tell you I'm not a preacher, but I just want want you to know something. So, as I'm sitting out here in the shade, you know, I I realize that I can feel the breeze that the God made, and I realize of how like the tree it's like I would be sweating more if the trees were you know the trees weren't there but because god made trees this that's the reason why i'm not sweating and so you know and the reason why i'm talking about patience as the subject of this video my video journal entry is that we all need to be patient because if we're not patient we don't know how love truly represents because that's the truth St. Paul said in one of his epistles, I, I need to read the Bible more like I should, but he said that patience only consists of love and it doesn't boast. So love is patient and it's kind and it doesn't boast. It's neither proud nor selfish. And so you really need to think about that. And as an Orthodox Christian, I'm like, you know, I need to be more patient when I go to confession. And, of course, we say it in front of God and the priest is our witness. And I just want to clarify something. Uh, you know, a lot of people like to say Roman Catholics or Orthodox, Eastern Orthodox, Orthodox Christians in general, like to um, say that the priest can forgive our sins. The priest doesn't forgive our sins. It's through intercession. And so he helped a man get up and he said, basically that Jesus did this it's through Jesus and so that's why we have the intercessions of the Mary and the Saints and I realize that but you know as I see people walking by I instead of just sitting here like anyone else I I'm like the Good Samaritan in a way I'll say hey to them I'll care because that's who I am I'm a caring person and you know, my priest told me, spiritual father, he said, you can be a good person all day long, but only through Christ, it's because you're a new person. And so when I see these people, I, I, I don't just sit here. I try to help them if they're trying to look. I've seen people like they're trying to get somewhere here in Dahlonega and I'll try my best to point them to a direction of where they need to go. And so that's what I'll try to do. And I just, I just, I just met a man today. I didn't know who he was. He was waiting on his family though. But I think it's only through Christ that I'm able to converse, have conversations with anybody. And I know the world's a perilous place. It's very dangerous, but we have to trust God. And so I met this person and he was just sitting there. I found out he was a Vietnam veteran. And so what I did was, is that I would do like a, a true American would. I shook his hand and I said, thank you, sir. Thank you for your service. And I'm so sorry you had to go through the Vietnam War. I told him about my both of my grandparents and I said, my Papa Brooks, he was in Fort Rooker down in Alabama, but in the National Guard while being a milkman through the week. And so, but he didn't have to go through Vietnam because because it was during peacetime, he told me, as I asked him questions about his life. And so this man told me of how he was drafted, but he made it 
a life and then I looked at his wife and she happened to be Vietnamese and you know you, you have love stories like that you know and so I just love that and when I became Orthodox too I realized that as long as someone lives for Christ it doesn't matter what skin color they are white black Mexican Asian if they live for Christ it's a true union and it's blessed so but to get back on topic, I went off on a rabbit trail. <laughs> I do that, guys. I have ADHD and stuff. And he uh, he was telling me about this book he was reading. And he said, you know, I'm reading this book called The Napoleon Wars. And it's about the naval battles, too. How they were fighting the French and Spanish, the British were. And, you know, I told him I was a history major. And y'all knew that, too. But, like, I realized since I do Civil War reenactments and reenactments in general... I realized that I want to tell the story, and I wrote a screenplay on a Western. I'll have to show you all sometime. It's really good. Um, my professor was really proud of me. It's not the best, but the reason why I wrote that was because of my, my great-grandfather. We watched The Long Ranger, and it was because of me growing up around my great-grandfather, you know, Joe, and... Um, he was my Nana Logs daddy. He passed away when I was 14 and I was just so blessed that I got to know him. And around my grandparents in general, my, both of my grandparents, even though I don't see my Papa Nana Brooks very much, you know, it was, it was because of them and Papa Nana Loggins. Even though Nana passed away this year, you know, the Lord gave me a good feeling and dream that she's in heaven. So that's a good thing. I just want to cross myself too. So. But it was through them that because I'm patient. And a lot of people tell me, you know, you, they say, you know, Elijah, you've got an old soul. And I'd say, well, I don't think it's just because of my ADHD. I think it's because truly of my, my great grandfather and my grandparents, both of them. And so I realized in that generation, the silent and baby boomers, they were very respectful. They said, yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. They, they obeyed just as Christ instructed us to. And like I obey my priests when I'm back there in the altar. Y'all didn't know this, but I'm an altar boy in the Orthodox Church. And so I'll, I'll I did post a photo one time on my community, but I'll, I'll show more about that if I can. But I got to tell y'all, you know, I feel like becoming an altar boy has made me more patient as an Orthodox Christian. And just living for Christ in general, um, there's just something about the altar, you know? It's like, it's like you're really back there in the holy presence of God. And so, like, I feel God around me. I don't have to worry about, you know, Satan trying to put thoughts or just, you know, in, in our head. and. That's what he does. Satan came here to steal, kill, steal, and destroy. He doesn't want us to be with Christ. He doesn't want us to be in heaven with our our family who made it to heaven and uh, rejoicing with all the Mary and the saints and angels. So, but we need to do our best as Orthodox Christians and Christians in general. I'm speaking to all of us. I love you all Christians and I'll do a reflection on that one day. He loves us all. And so, but it's only through Christ, it's only through Christ that because of him, we we give him the glory and we're patient. And so, and I will say this, you know, when I say I've become patient or people like one of my good old friends, true friend in high school, Peyton, and even Ari, as y'all know, I interviewed him. They said, Elijah, you taught me to be patient with other people, you know? And so I was like, wow, I truly believe this is because of my great grandfather, Joe, and um, an analog's daddy, like I said before, and both of my grandparents, Papa Nanaloggins, Papa Nana Brooks. And, you know, I'm curious because of my dad, I, I ask questions, and I've been called an interviewer before, and 
I don't mean to interview people. I just, I don't know, I'm a people person. So I just, I like to get to know people. And so I would just tell y'all, my audience, be patient, be patient. I, you know, I was just, I'm meeting up with a friend today and they said, they said to me, um, like, and, and another friend perhaps, but they said to me, you know, I don't want you to wait out here, you know? I said, it's okay, I'm, I'm patient. I'm out here in the shade, I feel the breeze. I'm not sweating very much, you know? So that that's a sign of a true friend too. When, when um, I don't know the Bible verse, but loyalty. And when you're loyal to someone, when you're honest, that shows that you're a true brother or sister in Christ. And so I praise God that I am patient. However, I will say it's on the contrary that I'm, I'm not patient when it comes to like, like doing assignments. I need to be more calm because I talk too much as people say, and I can't really focus on my work much because you know, and that's my problem. Everybody has problems, but when they tell me I'm patient, I think they mean by love and friendship and potential girlfriend and just whoever, whoever I can try to influence, but only through God, Christ. So, and through the intercessions of the Holy Theotokos and the prayers of the saints. And so I asked St. Elijah the prophet to pray for me because, you know, I think about him. I don't know if he was entirely patient because, as you know, he, he wanted to die. And if you didn't know this about me, when I was in 15, the devil gave me bad thoughts of hurting myself. And so, but I resisted that because I live for God and the devil wasn't going to win. And my mama helped me. And through spiritual discernment and patience, she she just realized because I didn't tell her about it and she helped me and later as I told y'all before my other journal reflection I was also betrayed by some friends in high school as I call fake friends but you know I still am pray and forgive those pray for those and forgive those people so um, I uh, I think loyalty equals patience, love for one another. You know, one of the greatest verses I love in the Bible too is how Jesus said, "Lay a friend or brother who lays down his life for another friend, that shows true love. And that's what Jesus did for us. He, he gave his life for us 2,000 years ago. And he didn't have to die for us, but he did it to restore the relationship with God and humanity, us. And so... He died for our sins 2,000 years ago on a cross. They whipped him, like flogged him and crucified him. Um, they stabbed him and, the, uh, and then the water came out, his rib. Um, and then he rose three days later as they call the Anastasis, the resurrection. And so, but one of my favorite things is, as you know, you know how St. Peter denied Jesus well, like he said, do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? He, he asked him three times, do you love me? And so Jesus, he was forgiven, but he also was patient with St. Peter. And St. Peter, he couldn't believe himself. Like, I cannot believe, like basically thinking through his head, his thought process, like, you're so patient with me and you, you still love me and you forgive me. And so... We just need to be patient. And I don't know a saint off the top of my head. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get better with the saints, guys, cuz I'm in orthodox, but and they and they really influence me. But I've been reading Wounded by Love by Saint Porfir Porfirios. And it's about a Greek monk and it's just such a beautiful, beautiful story. And he's patient with people. He prays for them ever do him wrong I remember I was reading one time when he broke it he fractured his leg and the doctor had to break it again but like 
and people were sort of mean to him as well and like he just he was patient with God and so I'll just tell you this real quickly before I go over the summer I strained my back very very badly and I was helping my cousin lift a couch for Papa when my grandmother passed away right after she passed away and so I felt something move in my body and it wasn't a good feeling and so three uh, uh, two days later I took a hot bath and ran outside or just you know jogged and but I realized I got too hot and then when I took a hot bath I fell asleep and I I remember I used the restroom and I just I felt I was almost unconscious and my mom was freaking out she said no 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 son are you okay are you okay Jesus help him and so I drank the water I basically got dehydrated but then I realized you know as the back pain ended because I had to do stretches I realized you know thank you God I praise you for letting me experience that because I don't like going through pain but St. Paul says we need to rejoice in our suffering and so what I thought of, I thought of my mama. If y'all didn't know this, not only is she a nurse practitioner in pain management, she, she had back surgery twice because she has a herniated disc. And she said, now you know how I feel, son. And I said, I know, like, I mean, well, I didn't feel much as you because you actually, you got the herniated disc and I just had a bad, bad strain in my back. And I'm not gonna lie, it did hurt. It was uncomfortable, my back was very tight. And so, I don't know, like, I just, I, just, I guess the Lord let me go through that trial just to em, 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 empathize with my mama. Because she's a nurse practitioner and she, she works every day and helps those, and, and helps so the other patients. And so praise, so God, I praise you and I thank you for letting me go through that trial this year with the back pain. I'm glad it's over now. And she told me, she said, son, make sure next time when you lift, you lift correctly. And so I lifted too quick. And so I learned, I learned my lesson. So here's a lesson, moral of the story. My fellow Christians who are Orthodox and Eastern Orthodox or any other type of Christian, be patient and God will bless you. He'll help you discover love through friendship, romance with a girl, and eventually marry, get engaged and married and have a beautiful family and children one day. And, but also because of the monks who were married to the church. So be patient with people, be patient. Because if it wasn't for my grandparents and my great-grandfather, I would probably still be like Generation Z. And I'm glad I'm not like my generation. Because because of them, I stand out. And I praise God every day for them. And I thank them for, for letting me learn how to talk, not short talk, not small talk. Have long conversations. Because people, they've lost that today. They don't know how to talk. And so... It's because of them that I'm patient. All right, guys, I'll show you one more thing of Delana before I go. I'm gonna do some more travel vlogs. And and so I'll just show you this real quick. I'm gonna go up here real quick. Look at the veterans. See, look, they gave their lives for us on Veterans Day. See the Delana Gold Museum, Old County Courthouse, 1836. So. Until next time, guys, take care, pray to God, fast, go to confession, read your Bible, even your prayer books, read the lives of the saints, do everything in your power to be an Orthodox Christian or a Christian in general, and God will bless you, and you won't even realize that he did it, and you'll be so happy, you'll find eternal happies happiness. All right, guys. Bye-bye. God bless. Christ is risen.